Puggle breed information, Pug Beagle mix facts, traits, and more. Are you thinking of adopting a Puggle? This dog is an incredible mix between two great breeds, the Pug and Beagle. In this video, you'll find out everything you need to know about this designer dog, including puppy costs, temperament, and more. The Puggle is a designer dog, whose parents are the Beagle and Pug. They are great crossbreeds who are both adorably cute and funny to be around. Puggles are often compared as family pets against their pug parent, due to their track record of having fewer health problems. Puggles typically inherit the flat brachycephalic face of their pug parent. However, as long your puggle is closely monitored during exercise, it's less likely to cause health problems, compared to the purebred pug. The pug beagle mix will also inherit some of the best traits of the beagle. This means that they will generally be great with kids and an overall fun dog for your family. As with any smaller breed, you'll need to be a little more gentle with them as puppies. As your pup grows, you'll be sure to have a medium-sized pup that's easy to play with and be around. Puggles are quite possibly the perfect puppy product. Over the last several years, their popularity has dramatically increased across the designer dog world. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into the life of a puggle and discover whether this pup will suit you and your lifestyle. Parent Breeds Designer dogs are causing a stir in the canine world, with opinions split between supporting them and opposing them. Both the Pug and Beagle are often compared by potential dog owners, so it didn't take long for breeders to combine the two breeds to create a new dog that offers the best of both worlds. Designer dogs give dog owners a greater choice with the opportunity to combine two fantastic dogs into one, but it also increases their genetic diversity. This means that they often benefit from being healthier. This process, known as hybrid vigor, while scientifically proven to be beneficial and true, is contested by purebred fans who detest the idea of mixing pedigree dogs. They are often unfairly described as expensive mongrels by haters, but fortunately, this scaremongering tactic is slowly being dismissed. Designer dogs are slowly but surely becoming accepted in the canine world. Realistically, the only negative surrounding the notion of crossbreeding is that you can never be certain that the designer pup is going to inherit certain traits. This means it's a bit of a gamble as to what traits the pup is going to inherit. However, as they are slowly becoming more accepted and celebrated. Second generation pups are being born from two puggle parents. This means that they are more likely to be born with certain traits. If this is something that is more appealing to you, then be sure to work with a breeder with second generation puppies. Let's take a brief look at the Puggle's parents in order to understand the breed a bit better. Pug The Pug originates from the ancient lands of China and he was a firm favorite of the royal Chinese families. It wasn't until Dutch travelers were gifted a pair of Pugs from Chinese royalty, that he traveled around the world and became popular with the masses from across the globe. In 2019, the American Kennel Club, AKC, ranked the Pug as the 28th most popular dog breed in America. He is part of the toy group and he is described as charming, mischievous and loving, and this is where the Puggle gets his cheeky side from. Pugs are also popular designer dog parents, often mixed with other breeds like the Chug or the Hug. Beagle The Beagle originated from England in the 16th century, although his ancestors are believed to originate from around 55 B.C. They are part of the Hound group and are best known for their skillful noses in the hunting arena, chasing rabbits, foxes, and other small mammals. In 2019, the AKC ranked the Beagle as the sixth most popular dog breed in America. He is described as friendly, curious, and merry, and this is where the Puggle gets his happy-go-lucky attitude from. Some other popular designer dogs with a Beagle parent include the Beagle Boxer Mix, Beagle Shepherd Mix, and the Dachshund. The Puggle Wallace Havens, who was fascinated with cross-breeding dogs, created the Puggle during one of his many experiments that he conducted during the 1970s in Wisconsin. This accidental cross soon became notoriously famous when celebrities such as Jake Gyllenhaal and Kelly Osborne became the proud owners of the breed. Soon after that, almost one in every four litters registered with the American Canine Hybrid Club was said to be a Puggle litter. Puggles are not recognized by a kennel club. However, he is registrable with the International Designer Canine Registry, IDCR. With our fascination of miniaturizing things comes miniature pups and there are now pocket and teacup Puggles on the scene. Teacup sizes are typically created by breeding to smaller generations of Puggles. This can lead to less genetic diversity and health problems. Temperament The Pug Beagle Mix is a delightful little pup who packs a lot of personality into an average-sized dog. They are very happy and sociable. Puggles love to be around their human pack, so you will most certainly find yourself spending time with your new shadow. If you aren't a fan of Velcro dogs, then we'd advise to stick with a less needy breed. 
If you do find the right balance, however, then this guy is as loyal as they come. Your newfound sweet little shadow will do anything to please you. Puggles are mischievous little creatures. They often find themselves getting involved in destructive behavior. He is very intelligent and inquisitive, so once he has his explorer hat on there is no stopping him. You need to ensure that all the food cupboards are locked, all doors are shut, and all holes in the fence are secured. Armed with a pug's inquisitiveness and the beagle's impressive nose, if he smells something on the other side of the fence, he is going to try his hardest to escape. You'll need to keep your eyes on your puggle at all times when outdoors. For this reason, it is suggested not to let the puggle of the lead unless in a fenced-in and secure location. Size and Appearance Puggles will measure, on average, between 10 and 15 inches tall. They weigh between 15 and 30 pounds. This compact canine is proportionate in his build, except for his face. His head is typically the shape of the pug, with his squashed and flat muzzle. He will often inherit the beagle's ears, which are large drop-down triangles that fall down way past his jawline. He will often have the wrinkled face of the pug. Your puggle may also find himself with an underbite with his teeth poking out of his lips. He tends to have the body of the beagle, with longer legs, and with the pug's curly pig-like tail. Coat and Colors The puggle's coat is double-layered to protect him from the cold elements. It's short and smooth to the touch. While they do have a short coat they are known to be moderate to high shedders. As such they are not suited to families with dog allergies, for they are certainly not hypoallergenic. His coat will take the color of solid tan, rich brown or fawn. Typically they will be a singular solid color, and will have the black mask of the pug, but they will not have the sporadic markings of the beagle. Exercise Requirements and Living Conditions The only downside to this particular designer dog is that he has inherited the high energy of the beagle, but with the brachycephalic face of the pug. This can lead to a difficult and frustrating combination for both the dog and his owner. Imagine having the urge to run a marathon every day, but with a plastic bag strapped to your face. This is a real concern of this breed. Nonetheless, the Beagle Pug Mix is an energetic pup who needs around 45 minutes of exercise every day. Just be sure to keep an eye on them during exercise at all times. Because the Puggle is a compact dog he is suited to a more compact home. However, they are quite adaptable, so as long as their exercise needs are met then he will happily live in an apartment. Puggles are often found with city dwellers. However, with the pug's barking tendencies and the beagle's howling tendencies, it is important that you don't live in a home where there are noise restriction levels. Otherwise, you may find yourself in trouble with your neighbors. The puggle is suited to homes with children of all ages. He is big enough not to be mishandled by young children, but not big enough to squash them. That makes them a perfect match for families with children of any age. He is also known to be great with other animals unless he inherits his beagle parents' hunting traits. But even then, as long as they are properly socialized as a young pup and exposed to smaller animals such as rabbits, then he should be suited to a multi-pet household. As always, be sure to carry out a controlled pre-meat first. Training Both of his parents are stubborn, and unfortunately, the puggle is no different. Everything is done on their own time, so don't expect him to join you on a training session if he rolled out of the wrong side of his crate that morning. With that being said, when he is up for a training session then he is quite intelligent and is quick to pick up commands when he wants to. For this reason, it is important to keep training sessions fun and short. Otherwise you are likely to lose his interest. Early socialization is key to ensure that he grows up into a well-mannered pup. As with every other dog, reward-based positive reinforcement training is the most effective way to train. The puggle is obsessed with anything edible, so be sure to use this to your advantage. You'll have a new best friend very quickly if you reward your puggle with small treats during training sessions. Health The puggle is a generally healthy dog who enjoys an average lifespan of 10 to 15 years. The beagle is a healthier dog than the pug, and so the puggle is a healthy alternative to the pug breed. The best way to determine what the puggle may be predisposed to is to look at the recommended health tests for both parents. Both of his parents suffer with hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is the abnormal formation of the hip joint so be sure to look out for signs of painful walking. His parents also both suffer with a variety of eye conditions, particularly the pug. This means cleansing and monitoring his eyes are very important. Epilepsy is also prominent in the breeds, and so if you suspect he is having a seizure take him to the veterinarian immediately, so be sure to read up on pug dog encephalitis. As outlined above, the puggle is likely to inherit the brachycephalic face of the pug. This can cause a number of health issues. Not only does it leave him unable to breathe properly, but it also causes difficulty for his heat regulation. So, on a hot day, be sure to closely monitor the puggle. If he appears to be struggling, 
immediately calm and cool him down with a cold damp towel placed over him. If it is too hot then either stick to early and late walking when it is much cooler, or simply don't walk him at all. Thankfully, however, he will have a slightly longer muzzle than the average pug thanks to the beagle influence, so these symptoms will be slightly alleviated. Nutrition. The puggle will consume between one and one and a half cups of food every day. The pug beagle mix will do well on high quality kibble that is specifically designed for smaller dogs, but if you are in any doubt about what to feed him then speak to your veterinarian. Both of his parents are known to pile on the pounds easily and become obese, so be careful to monitor his treat intake, as well as making sure that all food is secured in kitchen cupboards, or at least kept out of paw's reach. Unfortunately, if he can see it, he will probably get it, and the puggle will nibble on anything and everything in sight. Grooming. Puggle shed. While they may not shed as much as their pug parent, or even shed as much as their beagle parent, they still shed fairly frequently. Puggles have a double coat, which means that they'll shed more in the wintertime and during the summer. The grooming needs of the puggle are relatively simple. A twice-weekly brush will keep his short and shiny coat healthy. It will also ensure that any dead hairs will be picked up rather than finding itself on your clothes. Because of his propensity to skin allergies, it is important to use grooming products that are specifically designed for dogs with sensitive skin. If he has a wrinkly face, then be sure to cleanse his folds with a cotton wall ball and specialized pug products. Be sure to keep his eyes clean too, and to rinse them with water if you can see any dirt in them. It is also important to regularly check his large floppy ears, as they can often become infected with dirt and a buildup of wax. Breeders and Puppy Costs Because the Puggle was such a popular breed in the early 2000s there are plenty of breeders around. The easiest and quickest way to find them is to search online. We'd recommend starting on social platforms, and join groups like this one, related to the breed. The average cost of a Pug Beagle mixed puppy is around $800 and up from a reputable breeder. If someone is selling a Puggle for much less or a lot more than this, then see that as a warning sign that something is wrong. With first-generation litters, the mother is always the beagle and the father is always the pug. This is for health and safety reasons surrounding their size. Unscrupulous puppy mills love to jump on the latest puppy trends simply to make a quick buck. This is especially true for smaller dogs who are easier to house and lump together. So, be wary of unethical puggle breeders because there are undoubtedly a lot out there. Reading reviews and meeting both them and the dogs in person will give you a sense as to whether they are genuine or not. As family pets. The Puggle is an energetic and crazy guy who will entertain the whole family. They are excitable, particularly with his random bursts of energy. Puggles need around 45 minutes of exercise every day to remove excess energy. He should be placed with a moderately active family who can guarantee this. He is an adaptable dog who will do well in an apartment or a house environment. They are the perfect size for both smaller and older children. He would also fit in well with a multi-pet household as long as he socialized early. Despite his short coat he is a moderate shedder, which means he's not hypoallergenic. It is likely that the pug beagle mix will be a barker or a howler. Neighbors with noise restrictions may not appreciate a bored puggle resident. He is very affectionate and will require consistent attention from his family. The puggle needs a patient master who will not give up on his training. He needs an observant owner who will ensure that anything edible is locked away. If allowed, this little guy will eat you out of house and home if allowed. Final Thoughts the Puggle is adorable and fun, and he is a lot of dog in a small package. He would fit with just about any family, with younger or older children, and with most other animals. Puggles love to be with their human pack. As long as you can provide him with his basic exercise needs he will shower you with love and appreciation every single day. So, if you are happy with a Puggle that loves to snuggle, then this guy might just be your perfect match.